What are you doing here, old fart? Backing you up, you young punk! With a pig? With a pig? You don't know what this can do! Marker and action. Okay, I guess you could come right here. What are we doing now? The review. Well, the review. Okay, make sure you're in the shot. Is your head kind of cut off? What's up guys, Mega Movie Man Mark here with the return of Great Uncle Joe. Hello there, young whippersnappers! Today we'll be reviewing Red 2. Now we kind of had a Red Marathon yesterday. Oh, my eyes are bulging out. We watched Red 1 and Red 2 on the same day. Yeah, he brought Whoa. over Red 1. I really enjoyed it. Red 2... Eh. Not so good. Yeah, it's okay. Not so exciting. You fell asleep. I fell asleep. I beg your pardon. But you always fall I just closed my eyes for a moment. All old people do. Oh. I don't know what I read yet. So now the plot of Red 2 is... <laughs> oh, who knows? <laughs> I know, right? I was just watching... Well, after all, we old farts love a movie like that because it gives us a chance to express ourselves again. There's still fire in the boiler! That's right, but the first Red, I thought, did that very well. And this one... It was more of the same. Not too special the, the second time around. That's right, and the guys are older, so they're slower. The cool thing I liked about the first one is that it started slow and I didn't know where it was going, but then it really picked up and it got better and better. This starts really great, and I thought I liked it more than the first, and then decreases momentum throughout the movie. The theme that runs through both movies is that... Well, more of the first. ...is that an old, experienced agent who is red retarded, I mean retired, extremely dangerous, knows more, has infinitely more wisdom and knowledge about the field and being an agent than a young punk like you. It's like James Bond for the oldies. The next one's coming out in 2015, the biggest year for movies ever. I don't know if you know, all the big movies are coming out in 2015. Okay, good. Yeah. Smurfs 3. Oh, that's an action movie, all right. I was joking. I know. Oh. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't take off my toupee! <laughs> Another thing that I think was a mistake is that they didn't bring on the first Red director. They actually got him to make R.I.P.D. Rest in Peace Department. It's another one of those yes. things that stand for something. And it came out the same day as Red 2. <whistles> that had to be delivered. <laughs> yeah, but another thing, where's Morgan Freeman? I know he died. Look, I've got a Morgan Freeman knockoff. A lot of them do good impressions. <laughs> that would have been a stupid idea. <laughs> Never mind. However, there are a few good things about the movie. I think the new characters are phenomenal. You got, um, who's that girl? Who's that lady? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, the blood is boiling again, just thinking about her. Um, Anthony Hopkins. Whoa. He was awesome. And then there's one more person. Oh, the Asian guy. Oh, Han. Han. Oh my god. Why do you have to call all the Asian guys Han? Well... Is this a popular name ever since Han Solo? <laughs> Han! Uh, at the beginning of the movie when we first saw him shirtless, he said, Oh, I'm gonna be like that in a few months. And I said... One month. You're gonna be Asian? One month. You're gonna be Asian. Smartass. Nah, nothing special. I'd give it like a 2.5 out of 5. That's like halfway there. Living on a prayer. Because I live more in fantasy than you do, I give it a 3. That's actually... Pretty fair. So there you go, Red 2. Uh, I definitely say if, if you're not a Red person, definitely check out uh, the first Red. Red, that's a good rental. Way more than going out to see this one in the theater. Now since he's here, I thought, why not review Grown Ups 2? And of course, Adam Sandler is a very casual guy. All, in all the interviews, he shows up wearing t-shirts, so in honor of that. Oh. Whoa, what happened? Magic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now this movie is being bashed by critics. You know, the general audience will like it. People that are big movie buffs and have seen so many good family movies, they're gonna easily compare it to others and they're gonna be like, 
doesn't even match, you know, like, why? This movie's stupid. But, you know, some people will just go in, have a good time, and they'll definitely enjoy it. That's what Grown Ups 2 is. There's a lot of poop jokes, there's a lot of fart jokes, poop and fart galore. That's what this movie is. It's, it's for good. So, <laughs> for this guy, it's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'll probably, you'd probably laugh. And the first one was alright, but guess who they add in this one? To make it so much better. Taylor Lautner! <laughs> you alright? <sighs> good. And guess who else they add? Nick Swartzen. Ooh, he's gonna have a heart attack here. Yeah. Usually, out of the two, if we were to ask some people, you know, who is most likely to have a heart attack? It would be me. It would not be me. <laughs> would not be me. So, who else is there? Uh, it's the, it's this guy. Oh! The green screen guy. Oh. It's that guy right there. Say hi. Say hi to that guy. Special effects, man. Oh, yeah. Really ridiculous. I can't even rate this movie, but I will say that if you're, like, really wasted, <laughs> you gotta see it. That's a good idea. What's wasted? Uh, when you have a hankering for ice cream. Well, I want to get wasted. I want to get totally wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I just promote alcoholism with young whippersnappers. Oh, that's not good. Whatever. Okay. No, I mean, like, this. not only young whippersnappers snap, watch this. I mean, I, I hope there's more of an audience than just, like, my age people. But, uh... I mean, you can check that out on YouTube statistics. I mean, you can't. I can. It's my my account. <laughs> too long. I'm going on for too long. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got. Uh, when will you be back on this channel? What's the next movie? Uh... Find one with Catherine in it again. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Yeah, she has like weird eyes. Oh so yeah, like... but they're bulging. Oh my God. Very mysterious woman. She's bipolar, you know. I do not know that, but I can imagine. Do, 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 I know. Sounds like my mom. Yep. Sounds like all women. All women. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you hear something? <laughs> it's MI6 on our trails! <laughs> Watch out for the pigs! Oh, what is happening right now? Hear something though? Did I actually? I actually heard a ticking noise. No. I just played along that with it. That was my pacer.